hi what's up in today's video i'm going to show you how to create uh, a one page newsletter page in CorelDRAW 2020 without further ado let's step into it <coughs> so open a new uh, this is a new uh, page you go over to change uh, the page into a4 then you go over to uh what's it called rectangular to double click automatically snap into the page so right now what we are going to do uh we are going to make use of this uh that's right here so this is the uh this is the uh message that we are going to be using so let's make a copy of this let's copy from here good ctrl c then you go over at your color draw then you ctrl v to paste good let's wait a while so let's <coughs> Uh, drag your mouse to the uh you know to, to this angle right here it's in the case and harrow asking you to pull up or you pull down but in this case we are going to pull it up then we you get your destination right click so right now we are going to be doing it is to change this uh page right here to a uh, lemon you know hold <coughs> hold on control key then you tap yellow then you tap a little bit of green tap yellow i think that's that's okay so right now we are going to what next that we are going to be doing change this to green so not just green we are going to double click here let's make it a bit darker good it's okay so right now we are going to be doing right now is to uh cut from this cut the headline the headline of the uh news just like so ctrl x to cut it up then you paste right here ctrl v automatically paste paste then you go over to change this to white then you go over to uh what's it called change it to futura t i love this font so much futura t Futura, let's type Futura. Futura T, good. So right now what we are going to be doing, let's so let's cut from here. Then you hit Control K to uh Control K to break all the tests into pieces. So right now we are going to be doing right now is to just you know let's make the 80 bigger ctrl k let's delete this uh <coughs> zero right here delete that then you create let's create a perfect circle just like so then you make a copy in word select the two together combine automatically it's change so right now we are going to intercept this uh zero right here then you go over beside the two trim so make it a bit smaller so right now pull it up so what we are going to be doing right now is to change this art to a symbol so just like so then you make it bigger so right now what you are going to be doing right now is to change the color to a uh, lemon good then you change that uh, to lemon as well you know at 80 i'm happy so drag the happy a bit downward just like so then you make it bigger good so let that pull it up good good so right now what we are going to be doing now which we are going to be doing next is to just you know arrange this let's make it two line 
then you go over to display change it to uh, left alignment just like so then you change this and to short and it shifts then you make it a uh, short you know what's it called hand so right now we are going to be doing is to click on the shape tool then you pull it up just like so then let's make the whole thing a bit you know bigger good so right now we are going to be doing now is to uh, be very creative about this so just create an object you know around this place then you go over to disappear the uh, solid outline solid uh, area then you hit F12 to take in the outline just like so so right now we are going to be doing is to break one area combat to curve then you hit on your shape to double click right here then you double click right here so you go back to this place break cough so you double click automatically break that line you can see the outcome of that then you pull this you know downward just like so good so right now what we are going to be doing now is to just you know let's blend this solid good so what we are going to be doing now is to power clip this picture inside this you know inside the object power clip so select the picture go back to objects then you locate power clip then locate place inside frame select that automatically snap into that then you hold out key on keyboard select picture then you drag down just like so so right now the last but not the least we are going to uh, just put uh, what, what we we'll call uh, uh, this test right on top of this you know image right here you can see it covers the image so the trick about this is that we are going to uh, come up with a uh, with something you know <coughs> So what we are going to do right now let's go over to this place make it a full justification then make this let's drop this you know drop this cap automatically it applies so right now next step right now is to just you know let's <coughs> go over to uh <coughs> select well uh ellipse tool so that we can draw an object on the image so that i'll be able to you know pop out this image right here because all this test is overlapping on the picture so these techniques so watch me as i do that so what we are going to do is to trace this you know uh trace an outline you know within this picture can you see how it goes right now so at the end of the day you see the outcome of what I'm trying I'm about to do just like so then you finish it up right here so in this case right now we are going to disappear the color of the outline so right click on this you know uh, <coughs> this portion right here on the color palette automatically that's it disappeared the how was it called the outline so you go over to this place wrap tests so you go over to this place select this good no, 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 that's not okay so let's use a stradu test I think stradu test will be fine can you see the outcome of that so very superb so it trace out you know uh <coughs> where the picture is it just trace it out and uh, uh left uh, the test apart you know from the pictures 
from the picture can you see the outcome of it so right now what we are going to be doing right now is to just you know let's enter from here good can you see the outcome of that so <coughs> the rest of the test let me show you how to go about that can you see whenever you are designing something and you are test strange on an object and you notice you know an object right here when you select the test you notice something like this on the test that means there is still more test that is hidden you know if you want to see that click on this arrow right here then you range it outside just like so automatically the rest of the test will show up you know then you drag to see the remaining test you know if everything showed up you know you won't have any uh, anything to show up right here you know any arrow uh, everything you know that arrow will disappear that means you don't have any test left you know in there so what you are going to do right now so this is too much we are working on just uh, uh what's it called just a single uh page you know design so we are going to end it right here good so delete the rest of the test can you see the outcome of that can you see that So here we come to the end of the tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the button below to subscribe and turn on the notification button in case I have something special. And don't forget to give this, you know, our video a thumbs up so that other people can benefit from it. You know, bye for now. See you some other time.